Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. As you probably know, yesterday, the United States of America used an F-16 in Syria, an independent country and sovereign country of Syria is Ukraine, where the U.S. has troops stationed illegally under uh, occupation. They are uh, uh, occupy, uh, occupying Syria, the northeastern part of Syria, where Syria somehow has uh, its oil. And um, they, they uh, shut down a Turkish drone, military drone, armed drone, that was operating, again, in the country, in the airspace of a sovereign, independent country of Syria. What's going on over there? Well, international law does not apply in Syria. Why? Because Al Capone said so. And if it applies, who's going to enforce it? Nobody. So, uh, unless uh, you have an alternative, which is the alternative? We don't really have one at this point, and I don't think we will never have one because uh, of the nuclear deterrence that these guys could always use by having nuclear weapons. So, what did uh, Turkey do about that? About their drone being uh, destroyed by the Americans? No casualties. I suspect that even if Turkey had had some casualties, uh, it would have been only words and then the bazaar. Oh, you did this to me, you owe me, you're gonna give me that. And everything would be like this. So I think this is a little chip uh, for Mr. Uh, bargaining chip for Mr. Erdogan in dealing with Al Capone. So let's see what the Turks did today. Bloomberg, Turkey, Turkey escalates Syria airstrikes after US downs his drone. Now, Turkey did not intend to attack the American troops over there, illegally stationed, but intended to attack what they call terrorist organizations, PKK, uh, PKK, the um, Kurds, the, some Kurdish organization, Kurd organizations that claimed, according to the Turks, um, responsibility for the latest attack in Ankara, terrorist attack. A bomb was detonated over there. I think two security guards were injured or something like that. Nevertheless, they are going full scale in another country to destroy those terrorists as the United States fights terrorism all over. So if you designate someone a terrorist living in the United States of America and you are, let's say, North Korea, it seems like you are entitled to uh, blow that guy up in I don't know, wherever he might be on the territory of the United States of America. Right? No. Wrong. But hey, only some can do that. You know, we're all equal, but some of us are more equal than others. So this, uh, this is how the rule-based world order Al Capone style is supposed to look like. I don't want it. I don't like it. She's too fat for me. Okay, I don't want it. But anyway, that's the rule-based. This is the international law. This is the world community. I can whomever I want and nobody can do that to me or to someone else unless I say yay, bay, kapale, sopole. So let's see this article further. So this is October 6, 2023. So this is northern part of Syria, northeast, where the Americans are in charge of someone else's countries. Now you see here the, what this color is, I don't even know what it is, green, I guess. This is where the Kurdish forces, supported by the Americans, on in the territory of Syria. Right? That's where they are. And then it says, Turkish army and Syrian opposition, Turkish army in the territory of sovereign independent country of Syria. Syrian government. No, Syria. <laughs> okay, this is Syria. And you have Islamic State still there, supposedly. Syrian opposition, Turkey-backed, right there a little bit. So this is under the cover and uh, protection of Al Capone. Al Capone protects his uh, people in Chicago, wherever they do what he wants them to do. Turkey intensified airstrikes on America's Kurdish allies in Syria. The uh, United States keeps certain groups and certain situations so they can say, I have to be over here. Like, for instance, you have the uh, Korean Peninsula. I think it's very much, um, how should I put it, um, promoted and helped to be a problem between the North and the South because of the Americans. If you take the Americans over, if I say, oh my God, North Korea is going to invade, with what? I think these guys will understand and know how to deal with one another without the U.S.'s help over there. You see, the United States is involved in everybody's business, but nobody, nobody, I mean, only one country, my bad. It's uh, by Atlantic, uh, by Atlantic, by uh, Mediterranean Sea, 
<laughs> that little country. That's the only one. No other country can tell the United States anything or get involved in U.S.'s anything. But the United States has the right, because they're good, to uh, be everywhere else. In North Korea and South Korea, again, we, only we, keep the peace over there. I think when these guys tried about, what, 10 years ago or so to, you know, communicate, have some exchange, something like that, the American says, oh, whoa, 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 time out, boys. <laughs> I didn't give the order. You stay there and you over there, what the hell? <clears throat> That's what happened. And South Korea was like, okay, sorry, mommy. Well, that's how it was. All right, so Turkey intensified airstrike on America's Kurdish allies in Syria. There will always be problem over there because they need uh, the military over there so they can suck the oil and create problems in the region. If they want to go and help, help. You know, other people they can do from there. After the U.S. shot down a Turkish drone in the region, a rare instance of two NATO allies coming into conflict and which led the lira to weaken. That's what matters. Turkish, right? Turkish air raids targeting militants in northeastern Syria as to tensions between Ankara and Washington. They had been at odds over American support for arms groups that Turkey sees as terrorists. Turkey says its warplanes struck oil wells. <sighs> Oy vey, you can't do that. That's the main point. Warehouses and headquarters operated by Kurdish YPG fighters, the Americans, uh, slash. The attack late Thursday took place after a U.S. Defense Department said an American F-16 jet shot down a Turkish drone that flew to within half of kilometer of U.S. forces in Syria that were over there stationed illegally. So, and the, the other guys were also flying over there illegally. But hey, rule-based world order, right, America? Yeah. Turkey terror attack spells trouble for NATO. Mideast briefing, whatever. The unmanned aircraft was operated by Turkish National Intelligence Agency, which was conducting cross-border operation. Cross-border. That means you cross another country and do whatever you want. But when the Russians uh, entered with their Suhoi 24 for about, what, 10 seconds in the... Uh, I'm just exaggerating. Maybe it was uh, 30 seconds or something. Like the fifth time. The, at the border, fighting ISIS in North Syria, what did the Americans... Told uh, what did they tell the, the Turks? Well, you can use the F-16s because the Turks could not use the F-16s until, unless the Americans tell them, yes, you can use them. Did you know that? So you buy a car from Ford Motors, let's say, you buy it from a dealership and you can't operate it before you call them and say, hey, I intend to go and do some grocery store uh, shopping in uh, this are going to be the stores from this to them. And they will say yes or no. Did you know that? Well, I knew that only after that happened in uh, northern uh, Syria, southern Turkey, that they could not fly without Pentagon's approval. What the fuck? <laughs> the attack which injured two... Uh, okay, the unmanned aircraft was operated by that. Cross-border operations retaliation for a suicide bomb in the Turkish capital of on Sunday. The attack which injured two security officers was claimed by Kurdish militant groups PKK and organized from Syria. The key words according to Turkish intelligence. Like, you know, um, the Americans told us about the weapons of mass destruction in Iraq. The same with this guy. The Turkish Foreign Ministry acknowledged that the armed drone belonged to Turkey in a written statement on Friday. It said the drone was lost over differences in technical assessments with third parties. All right, yes, I guess. U.S. Defense Department spokesman Brigadier General Pat Ryder said that there was no sign the drone planned to strike American troops. Nonetheless, Turkey's operations have stalked fresh tensions with Washington, which supports the Kurdish forces, who it says have played a major role in the US-led effort to defend the defend, defeat the Islamic State. Uh, well, the Americans were the ones uh, who helped them in the so-called um, civil war in Syria. Again, stuck their nose in someone else's country. So it was not the ISIS, it was these guys starting and doing what they did best, getting involved in other business, other people's business. So it's not the ISIS and blah, blah, blah. It was, remember when they said Assad must go, Assad must go. But who the fuck are you to say that? And you're saying to everybody else, but nobody says oh, Biden must go. Nobody says that. How is, why is that? 
I mean, if we're equal, that's, that, that, that means uh, reciprocity, right? In front of the law, we are all equal. No, but you can call everybody an asshole. You can say, this must go, this must go, like you're the ruler. You're not. Wait, well, I am. Why? Because of that. Now, that's the rule based I don't like. Anyway, my friends, here it is. Nothing will happen within Turkish, uh, Turkey, and I'm talking about militarily. The Turks will do the same thing, will bombard them. Uh, Erdogan will get some um, public opinion support for that. He's going to be the great guy, the strong guy. And it was just a drone after all. I suspect that even if that would have been a... Uh, um, there were some human casualties over there. I don't think Turkey would have done what? I'm going to attack United States of America? Got to be kidding me. He's just going to use that in the political bazaar of our systems and our global garbage. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.